travel with me now to Red Oak, Texas, where David Strickland makes his living as a scrap metal salesman. And what he doesn't sell ends up as something called scrap metal sculpture. Come on, let's take a look. <laughs> Dealing scrap metal, all kinds of metal, farm metal, farm metal, junk cars, lawn mowers, it don't matter. Iron, tin, or metal. There's lots of lots of good, you know, things being thrown away in the salvage yards these days. I just get what I can find and, and do, do you know do do what I can with it. Call him the ultimate scavenger of scrap, a man who sees treasure among trash, potential in every rusty remnant of civilization. David Strickland sees sculpture in what the rest of the world has thrown away. One day it, it you know, just kind of happened. It's uh, just kind of self taught folk art, you know, it's something that I taught myself to do with the uh, knowledge that I accumulated over years of uh, welding. I use all of that in building a sculpture. Now David Strickland's backyard looks like a reclaim area for metal machines that time forgot. Artistic inspiration's not exactly the first thing that comes to mind, but armed with a white-hot welder and a head full of ideas, David can turn garbage into a great work of art. I couldn't pinpoint a, a, a favorite. I guess it'd be my next one <laughs> that I go to build. I just get the satisfaction of uh, creating something out of a, you know, a discarded piece of metal that, that I just see something in it that I want to, you know, bring it out to life to where it can be uh, viewed by everybody, you know, enjoyed. David admits it takes a particular, let's make that peculiar, mind to see a masterpiece in a master cylinder. But the way he sees it, he's plowing new ground. The old uh, farm equipment had a lot, has lots of old characters in it, and I've seen get out here and I just uh, start putting things together and uh, to see what it looks like. And it just, it goes from there. It's a good feeling to to uh, <clears throat> finish a sculpture and, and get back and look at it for maybe uh, for a week there, you know, you got a, a lot of excitement, uh, a good feeling about it, and uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling. It's kind of like seeing shapes in puffy white clouds, only David Strickland sees sculpture in what the rest of us throw away. With a little imagination and a whole lot of junk, David Strickland has recycled, reused, and reinforced the notion that one man's trash is, and always will be, another man's treasure. It's just something that, that I like to do. It's, it's uh... It's just me, I guess. I just, I love getting out in, in, uh, in the morning and deciding on some kind of a creation, something that's going to be a one-of-a-kind thing. <laughs>